everyone, my name is Angelica Fabelia from ECO32 and today I will discuss the price elasticity of demand. Price elasticity of demand is an economic measure of the change in the quantity demanded or purchase of a product in relation to its price. This is the formula for price elasticity of demand. Price elasticity of demand is equal to percentage change in quantity demanded over percentage change in the price. Symbolically, it can be expressed as price elasticity of demand is equal to change in quantity demanded over change in price times original price over original quantity demanded. Where EP stands for price elasticity of demand, Q is equal to original quantity demanded change in quantity demanded, P is equals to original price and change in price. For example, suppose that price of a commodity falls down from 10 to 9 per unit, and due to this, quantity demanded of the commodity increased from 100 units to 120 units. What is the price elasticity of demand? Give that initial price is equals to 10, initial quantity demanded is equals to 100. To get the change in price, we need to subtract the original price to the new price, which is 10 minus 9 is equals to 1. And for the change in quantity demanded, we also subtract the original quantity demanded to new quantity demanded, which is 120 minus 100 is equals to 20. And for the formula, we are going to use the price elasticity of demand is equals to change in quantity demanded over change in price times original price over original quantity demanded. It is supposed to be 20 over 1 times 10 over 100. And the answer is 2 over 1 or 2%. It means that the quantity demanded increases by 2% due to fall in price by 1. There are 5 types of price elasticity of demand. These are the inelastic demand, elastic demand, perfectly inelastic demand, perfectly elastic demand, and unitary elastic demand. First is an elastic demand. If the coefficient of price elasticity of demand is less than 1, then demand is said to be price inelastic or unresponsive to a change in price. Following change in price, the total revenue earned by the producing firm will be depend on the PED or price elasticity of demand for its product. If the coefficient of price elasticity is less than 1, a rise in market price will lead to an increase in total revenue. Second is elastic demand. If the coefficient of price elasticity of demand is greater than 1, then demand is said to be price elastic or highly responsive to a change in price. If demand for a product is price elastic, a supplier stands to gain extra revenue if they reduce their prices. The change in quantity demanded will be proportionately higher than the reduction in price. This is shown in the diagram opposite. Third is perfectly inelastic demand. If the coefficient of price elasticity of demand is equal to zero, demand is perfectly inelastic or demand does not vary with a change in price. A perfectly inelastic demand curve is an extreme case for it implies that consumers are willing and able to pay any price for the product. If the supply falls, equilibrium market price can rise without any contraction in the quantity demanded. Fourth is perfectly elastic demand. If the coefficient of price elasticity of demand is infinity, then demand is perfectly elastic. There is one price at which consumers are prepared to pay. If demand for a product is perfectly elastic, a change in market supply will not lead to any change in the equilibrium price. This demand curve applies to highly competitive markets where no supplier has any pricing power. And lastly is unitary elastic demand. A demand curve with unitary price elasticity has a coefficient or PED equal to 1 throughout. With a demand curve of unitary price elasticity, a change in price is met with a proportionate change in demand. This means the total spending by consumers on the product will remain the same at each price level. I hope you learned something from me. Thank you for listening. Thank <laughs> you.